Hello everyone, this is Yaku Ro with another UFO tutorial. In this episode, we will look into the U property macro and cover the following specifiers config and global config. Using one of those specifiers makes the property configurable. So that means we can load the default value during the startup time of our project. Or we can even save to any file. Uh, the main difference between those two spe specifiers is that if we use global config instead of config, the property cannot be uh, the property's value cannot be overwritten in a subclass. Um, but before I talk again too much, let's make an example. Then it's easy to understand. Before we can use the config or global config specifier, we have to add the same um, a specifier into our U class macro. And then we uh, specify the configuration category. So there are different ones, for example, the engine, the game, the input, the editor, and so on. So uh, you can look for more uh, information about the configuration categories on uh, the Unreal Engine's documentation. I will put a link um, in the description so you can find it easily. For now, let's use the game in it. We will create two properties and use the oops config specifier. And I like to use this property also in the blueprint level. So I like to program something. Let's say blueprint read only. The first one is a float and I call it value one because I'm always so creative with variable names. And this is going to be a string value 2. Uh, usually if we use uh, uh, the U property um, with uh, one specifier or not, uh, those property values will be stored in the asset. In this case uh, we can store them or load them from the any file. So here we use the game any, I opened it already. Uh, what was it we call here script then the um, project's name or module name which is my project then the class name which was my actor value 1 let's say is 1.0 and value 2 is hello world So let's compile this. A bit slow today. Come on, what's going on? Oh, that took a while. So let's go to the editor. Create the blueprint. Drag it into the level. And because those uh, conf configuration files are uh, read uh, during runtime, uh, during a startup time, we should save this map. I call it default and change the project settings here, default maps, editor, startup. Mm, yeah, why not? Let's use that too. Default. Oh, it's set already. Okay. I guess that is already from my previous trial. 
um, save and now we will print out those values let's get rid of those and if you cannot see the class name here in the variables section make sure you select this show inherited variables so because this blueprint is a subclass of our class so makes sense right <laughs> get value print this out I'm not gonna use append let's say for 10 seconds and then value 2 is the string so we should see 1.0 and hello world on the screen so if I start now we won't see it as you can see 0 0 not initialized but we can do this now let's go uh, start standalone game I hope this works Oh, where is it? So, as I said, we should see 1.0 and Hello World. Hello World and 1.0. Cool. So, that worked. Um, yeah, so the next is let's use the global oh now let's do this so because this is called new blueprint we can overwrite the values now in here so that is the game uh, folder of the uh, uh, content so that is the content subfolder then new blueprint oops dot uh, new blueprint underscore c value 1 I say 0 0.2 and value 2 hello unreal engine 4 Let's start again here. So this time we should see 2.0 and hello Unreal Engine. almost done hello unreal engine 4 and 2.0 cool so what we did is we overwrote the values in our subclass now we can talk about this global config specifier as I mentioned if we use global config this property cannot be overwritten in a subclass so that means so value 2 is here in the subclass and un hello unreal engine 4 and value uh, 1 is just config that means what we are going to see um, let me compile this is we will see the value 1 from the derived class from the subclass 2.0 and because value 2 is a global config this will not work so it, it will use uh, this line from the base class and we will see hello world so this time we will see 2.0 and hello world so again if we use global config we make our 
property actually as it says global that means uh, in the derived classes we cannot overwrite that value so that means uh, we cannot uh, this line will not work so it will use hello world Almost ready. As you can see, there is written Hello World and 2.0. Cool. So, and as I said, so during, this is all during startup time, right? Um, we can also write those values. There is a function called save config. And because I don't want to make this episode too long and go too much into detail, uh, if you guys are interested, maybe I can make another video and go more deep into those uh, topics. But for now, we keep it simple. So you can use save config and use those flags or don't specify anything. It will just save somewhere and yeah so that's it with save config you can save the uh, those property values into the ini file and if I'm not wrong yeah that's it for this episode so if you have any other questions or suggestions feel free to leave me a comment other than that, thanks for watching and hopefully seeing you in the next episode.